All right, guys. Here's another update of the uh, roller filter, calcium reactor, and the tank itself with the uh, the corals that I put in here. All right. So I saw some uh, things that were definitely kind of concerning me a little bit with some of them, like bleaching. You see that? See that? So I'm like, okay. Well, let me find out what's going on here. So I uh, got my hand checker out, and I checked the uh, alkalinity, 16.8. It's a no wonder why this uh, hammer curls like closed up. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. But the A cans are doing good. Not the A cans, but these are the um, the uh, Fabias. And that's the A can right there, which is actually growing a lot more, um, you know, heads on it. You know, there's a couple more Favias. My frog spawn, I'm like, not the frog spawn, but the, uh, yeah, not the frog spawn, but the uh, Duncan. I actually started closing up. I'm like, okay, well, what's going on here? And my trumpet corals, they're actually doing pretty good. They're nice and puffy, but I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. Well, I do now, but. And then my uh, my Monty Pores. There's my Monty Pores, but my. Uh, uh, damn, I'm losing my train of thought here because I'm trying to do too many things at once. My. Um, I'll get it here in a minute. Just give me a minute. Anyway, let's get back to it. So anyway, my calcium reactor. You can see where I've disconnected everything. Okay. My, the alkalinity in the chamber went down to actually 6.34. I'm like, all right, something's going on here. Well, I realize what's going on here. The fact that the pump was higher than the, the 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 reaction chamber, and what it was doing, it was like almost losing prime. Okay, so other than that, everything else is looking good, but alkalinity through the roof. So uh, that's been disconnected. Um, here's the other thing. Now I actually made my own. CO2 scrubber and believe it or not there's an air pump with an air stone in there but instead of me using buying the uh, um, pellets I've actually stuffed toilet paper in the, in this reactor I watered it up and I stuffed it in there my pH was at 8.01 that was three hours ago look now it's almost gone up almost one almost a percent in three hours okay so that's just a little DIY for yourself CO2 scrubber okay it seems to be working okay I'm not getting any fresh air I'm just it's it's been the air conditioning here has been running because it's getting a little toasty out here in Florida so but uh, the other thing is roller filters the DIY um, 3D printer it's helping me out tremendously so far for making these roller filters. Okay. I'm actually making the boxes, printing them out. I'm making the gears, you can see. And there's a lot of mistakes, as you can see. Here's another one. Trial and error. You know, I got my uh, caliper out here. And as if you notice, also, the uh, 
router CNC router I dismantle it I figured uh, well I don't need it but I'm gonna turn it into a huge 3d printer and I mean huge this thing's gonna be four foot long two foot wide and then I already bought all the other parts so but uh, this is where all this is going I'm now more into the 3D printing than I am the CNC machine. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll probably build another one, but it's not going to be to this caliber. I don't need one this big because nine chances out of ten, the box I'm only going to build is only going to be like eight by, you know, eight by eight by twelve, if even that big. This one's not even that big. This one's actually smaller. This one is going to be replacing. this one here I don't this 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 is way too big I don't need it in here so I mean it's working like a champ don't get me wrong but uh, I don't need one this big sorry for the shaky video too I'm walking around as I'm doing this and I'm ha hand held in this maybe if I make the screen smaller so that's better but uh, yeah believe it or not toilet paper filled chamber with an air pump and an air stone in there has already raised my pH by almost 1% in three hours. So, you know, and I'm, you know, I made all the brackets like I showed you in the last one. The two J bows, the two uh, Ecotech brackets. I made all these with this 3D printer. Yeah, there's been some trial error, but uh, I've got a, uh, a link on my uh, Tinkercad where if anybody's interested in starting building some of these things, you can. So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm working on it. There's my hydrofill bracket that I made with the 3D printer right now. The 3D printer is actually making a uh, another piece. This one's huge. Right here for this six inch tube that I got. Acrylic tube. So uh, I'm going to see how that turns out. Hopefully it works out because I don't want to be redoing that twice. Alright guys. But that's it. That's the 3D printer, Ender 3D Pro. I'll tell you what, I'm loving every minute of this thing. I got enough filament, I got glow in the dark, I got all kinds of stuff here. So, uh, do me a favor guys, if you like and subscribe, or do me a favor, like and subscribe. <laughs> so that I can continue to keep doing these things and show you all the things that, that are going on with the tank and the progress. But yeah my alkalinity 16.8 dkh i'm like you got to be freaking kidding me almost had a freaking heart attack that's why i shut everything down and i know why it's because the pump was higher than the than the uh, calcium reactor itself and it wasn't pulling the way it was supposed to be so all right okay guys appreciate it we'll see you on the next one all right